the all-time leading Bayheim scorer in Syracuse history. Uh, how's that make you? So, uh, besides that, uh, how good does it feel to get back out there and, and you know, being with the, the gang again, so to say? Oh, it was just so fun. That's one of the, you know, most, you know, it's a overall most fun games I've ever had. Just sitting out three games, watching at home, like, just wanting to be out there with your teammates, missing being at practice, just missing the little things. If it's traveling to a game or hanging out in the locker room, whatever it is, uh, talking to guys, and I just missed all of it. So being back with the guys was great, and nothing's better than competing with them. Yeah. Buddy, just what you could say about Kadari and Joe and what they've done this season, and, and when you've had to sit out those games, just what you've seen from them up to this point. Yeah, I mean, I'm proud of them both. I mean, Kadari's a really good player, and he just keeps proving that every day. Uh, no matter what his role is, he's going to come in and contribute. He's a great defender. He's got really good in instincts. Uh, he makes deflections, makes steals, and, you know, he's a playmaker. So, you know, I'm not surpri surprised that he's playing like this. I think he can, you know, take it to another level, and he's only going to get better. And, you know, I knew Joe, you know, would get out of this slump. He's, you know, he's a, he's a baller, and uh, – you know, I went through the same thing uh, my freshman year, so you know I'm just I know that you know he's gonna get get out of whatever it is, and you know he proved that today, and he's he's only gonna you know keep playing better and you know uh, keep working hard. So it was great being back with those two guys. Welcome back, buddy. Appreciate it. Our next question will be from Donna Detota. Yeah, hey buddy, I'm actually curious about what you did during that whole time. What were you, you were at your parents' house. You were what? What did you do when you were there? Yeah, I mean, I was just trying to kill time as much as I could. I mean, I was working out for three to four hours a day, just going in the gym when I was bored, doing just little stuff. I watched a lot of movies, um, watched a lot of The Office, and tried to get my, my schoolwork done. I had a couple projects and some finals, so I got that done. And really just watching the games, watching a lot of college basketball, and just trying to make it as enjoyable as possible, even though I wasn't out there. And my mom liked it, so she liked having me home. So it was overall, I tried to make the most of it. And, you know, it was, it was kind of fun besides not being out here. You have two more questions. The first is from Josh St. Croix. Hi, buddy. Um, you mentioned how much fun you had out there today. Um, I was wondering specifically just when you came out, hit those first two threes, um, just what's going through your mind at that point and just, just kind of what that felt like for you. Uh, that was, you know, big for me, missing three games, just trying to, you know, get back into rhythm and to be able to see those two go down early when, you know, my legs weren't quite there yet. I feel like I had to get into the game first to really, you know, feel like I was back in game shape. You know, there's a difference from playing in games and working out by yourself every day. So game shape was huge for me. And, you know, it was just kind of a confidence booster from there and just – uh you know, I missed a couple after that, but just trying to make plays on the defensive end and, you know, trying to just be a spark for this team. I knew that defense was a big uh, key this game. They had shooters and trying to get out on them. Tabs got hot. So just trying to limit him and, you know, having fun being out there, remembering how much I miss, you know, being with my, my teammates. And it was, you know, it's good to see those first two go down for sure. And our last question will be from Anthony DeBundo. Oh, sorry about that. I didn't have my hand raised. Uh, so I guess kind of, uh, you know, how much, how much of the quick start today was motivated by you guys ending last game so poorly on that, on that run that Rutgers had? Uh, yeah, I mean, I could, you know, I was at home watching, so it was tough. You know, I wanted to be out there with my teammates, uh, you know, battling with them. But I knew that we'd all be fired up to go uh, coming into this game. We knew it was a big one. It kind of felt like uh, the Georgia Tech game last year when we came off a loss, I think. Uh, to I don't know who it was, Iowa maybe, but we went there and, you know, won by 30 or whatever it was, and we just played a great game, and it kind of felt like that today. So I think that we've done a really good job rebounding from losses, and, you know, uh, this is just a team that's not going to give up, and we're just going to, you know, keep working hard and, you know, figure out what we need to do better. Thanks, buddy. Great. Thank you, buddy, for joining us.